So this is my take on the iconic pheasant tail nymph. If you've ever fly fished for trout and grayling, not to mention brook trout, arctic char, bluegill, crappie, carp, chub and a whole host of other species, then chances are at some point you'll have tied one of these bad boys onto your leader. The inventor of the pheasant tail nymph, or PTN for short, was Frank Sawyer, a river keeper and legendary fly dresser, born in England at the start of the 20th century. Frank was a man responsible for developing a collection of devastatingly effective flies, but the PTN is undoubtedly king of the nymphs. It's the quintessential generalist fly pattern. What do I mean by that? Well, it looks a lot like nothing and a little bit like lots of things that trout love to eat, so it's a really good all-round imitation. It was also super groundbreaking thanks to Frank's use of copper wire to help sink the fly. You see, most flies at the time were intended to be fished on or just under the surface of the water. The pheasant tail on the other hand is designed to be fished deep down and dirty. But I know what you're thinking, it's not 1958 anymore. Surely the humble pheasant tail nymph has been eclipsed by ultra-modern Euro-style flies like perdigons and blowtorches. Well, unlike the Brexit negotiations, with fly time you really can strike a balance between a great British tradition and European sensibilité. I tie my pheasant tail nymphs on RX555 hooks. Danish brand? Czech style. For weight I use slotted tungsten beads that I order from Romania, so multi-mesh. The pheasant tail itself is from here in the UK and for the thorax I use a special dubbing blend that I get on Facebook from a really nice guy called Andrew. But the real question is what do my local Scottish brown trout think of the fly? Well in this angler adventure I'll be visiting a small tributary to show it to a few of them. So stay tuned to find out what happens.
confessed. <laughs> Look at that, stunning. That's a stoter of a fish. Absolute stoter. What's well, happening, folks? Good morning and uh, welcome to a warm, muggy Scotland. It's July and we're right in the middle of a period of very, very hot weather here in Scotland. Temperatures in the mid-20s in Celsius, um, which is something that we're not too accustomed to as Scots. The um, high temperatures, combined with the fact that we haven't had uh, much rain for the past few months, means that a lot of the um, main rivers around here are um, on their bones, really low in water. So I've come down this morning to uh, one of my favourite tributaries of one of these um, larger rivers in the centre of Scotland. It's an amazing kind of narrow gorge. Um, once you're down here, the only way out is uh, through. And because of how steep the valley is and, and all the trees, it means you only get a few hours of sunlight down here at the bottom of the valley. And so um, the water is very, very cold. Um, there's a lovely flow to the water. And in these kind of conditions, the tributaries are the perfect places to have a wee cast for trout. Um, so I've uh, fished up a few hundred yards, I've missed a couple of fish, I've caught a few fish, um, all on the, that pheasant tail, a size 16 uh, pheasant tail on a jig hook with a 3 mil bead. And so I'm going to continue working up here. I know there's some very good water just above from uh, where I am now, um, but it does feel very good to catch fish right in the middle of the summer as well when um, it's so warm, even though it's only, you know, 7, 8 o'clock in the morning. Um, I'm wearing a t-shirt and I'm still sweating. So, so let's see what else is lurking in these wee pools um, and carry on up the river.
brownie look at the colors on this my gosh chrome red spots absolutely stunning that absolutely stunning well folks <laughs> Life's always better, a couple of fish, isn't it? A couple of fish in the net. Um, it's 11 o'clock and I've um, more or less run out of water here. Upstream there's some really good dry fly water, but I think with the conditions being as they are, I'm probably not going to find um, much dry fly action today. Um, the water, you know, as I fished up, I've realised it's quite a lot lower than I was anticipating. That's made for a bit of a challenging day. Um, the fish have been right down at the bottom. Um, so presentation, uh, the depth of the fly has been really, really important. But you know, I have to say, having given it that big build up at the beginning, the pheasant tail nymph has done the business for me today. You know, I've lost a lot of fish and that always happens with, you know, barbless hooks. But what can I say? Pheasant tail nymph, you know, a, a cold tributary full of fish and uh, what a fantastic way to spend the morning, this hot summer's morning. Well, thanks a lot for joining me today, one of my favourite places. It's been uh, lovely showing it to you. Uh, until the next time, take care, stay safe, tight